democracy, and I believe that uh, what America needs is we need uh, new leadership. Joining me now is Deborah Ross. Thank you for being here, first of all. Oh, it's my pleasure. Now, now, now well, what's your reaction to Senator Burr saying he will be out campaigning with Donald Trump? Well, clearly Senator Burr isn't interested in running on his own record in Congress of more than 20 years. And that record is really out of touch with what people in North Carolina and across America care about. So he's decided to run on Donald Trump's record. Senator Burr has said that he does not support uh, Donald Trump's uh, proposed ban on Muslims. Is he trying to have it both ways here? Well, that's a really good question. We're going to have to ask Richard Burr every time that Donald Trump makes one of these statements, is he with Donald Trump? Isn't he with Donald Trump? That's why I don't understand why he won't run on his own record, but probably because it's out of touch with what people in North Carolina really care about and really need. Now, one of the things that uh, is troubling a lot of people, including myself, is the very tough uh, voter ID laws in North Carolina. In fact, Senator Burr himself made headlines when he couldn't vote because he didn't bring his ID uh, to the polls when he was voting. Uh, shouldn't that have taught him how these laws can really restrict people's rights to vote and in, and, and in many ways impede uh, the voting of citizens in the country that are legitimate voters? I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, when I was in the legislature, I chaired the election law committee, and I worked on a lot of election law legislation to increase the ability for people to vote. I am um, adamantly opposed to these new restrictions that have been put on and to repealing some of the good laws that we put in place. Now, let me ask you this. One law that has made a lot of national news is the North Carolina bathroom laws. And Senator Burr has said he's against the federal government intervening in uh, the bathroom laws in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. You've been on the other side. Could you, could you explain your uh, uh, opposition to this bathroom bill? Uh, absolutely. So I'm against the bathroom bill because discrimination in any form is wrong. HB2, that's what the bill is called, prohibits local governments from having a minimum wage higher than the federal minimum wage, which is $7.25. Well, several of our local governments set a higher minimum wage because the standard of living and the cost of living in those areas is higher. And this bill would keep local governments from being able to do that. This law is bad for North Carolina, it's bad for our economy, and it's horrible for the image of our state. Deborah Ross, thank you for your time this morning. Oh, it was great speaking with you. Take care.